accessory. Mm -hmm. I need to add more sugar. Why to did that pie. guy ask about Roman over here? I don't know that word, but yeah, because he wanted to verify that we were here at the hotel mm -hmm. because he probably doesn't quite remember. So basically they see like how many people are in the room and if it's like a bigger room then maybe we get like two bags or if we're only in a queen then we're only supposed to see one bag, you know? Mm -hmm. I, remember. I don't, I don't know. But honestly, he was probably sketched, like, why are you guys getting so much coffee? Like, we weren't using their cups. <laughs> That's a cup of coffee. I know. But the way he was, like, looking at the fact that we were, like, loading our pockets, he just was not vibing with it. I made sure not to take too much excess. Like, I took four and five. Like, it's not excess. Yeah. We're coming in with free coffee with our own cups. Okay, I got my little goodie bag. just got our free coffee from the lobby. Hi Lilo. Jordan and I have been staying in a motel for about a week now. <laughs> we stayed in a couple other motels on our way up and we did some camping as well on our road trip. First things first, we are gonna go through our goodie bags of kind of what we get for our free breakfast every morning. It's not fancy, but sometimes there's some good things in there. I have some lucky days. Yeah, and then we're gonna kind of talk about our experience here, our first impressions, and we still have a week to go, 
So we'll give you another update as the week goes on, but I just kind of wanted to do a little check-in. This is that check-in. Anything you want to add? We got coffee. It's fire. Oops. Okay. So Jordan and mine's favorite part. The juice. The juice. It's so good. <laughs> We're laughing. No, we actually get a lot of liquids here. <laughs> yeah. This is technically... Oh, hi, Amelia. Well, we got it for her. We always get oatmeal. And this is where they differ. Sometimes she'll get one thing. Like yesterday, I had a honey bun. And what did you have? Donuts. She had powdered donuts. I was going to buy. Okay. Well, I think we got the same. We got this. And an oatmeal cookie. So that's Hi. today's breakfast. <laughs> I got a popcorn one time. That's when we realized they were different in the bag. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, no, I have a pop tart. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool, a pop tart. And she was like, and then she didn't have one in her bag, and we realized we had switched bags. Can mm -hmm. I switch with you? Because I keep getting apple juice. I haven't had the berry berry yet. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Look at that, trades. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what was your first impression of this place? Wait, wait, wait. Should we tell them how we even got to this place first? Wait, you're talking about the actual hotel? Yeah, this okay. one. This motel. Not hotel. It's a motel. I didn't, I guess I don't, I don't know. I didn't see them as different. Okay. Okay, so before we had the boys with us, we kind of had our own trip that we were doing, but then they wanted to come. I wanted to bring my car, therefore we were going to be separate anyways. So we each brought our mans with us and drove all the way up here. I was passenger princess the whole entire time and because of that I was doing all the booking like I booked all the hotels so I learned how to find the reviews I learned how to see like what they had if they were pet friendly because we obviously have a little tiny kitten and a dog with us so we needed to make sure that we could seek wherever we were going and we didn't want to have to deal with it when we arrived there after I learned how to properly do research before we had left we had just booked a random motel, literally. Because it was the cheapest. It was the cheapest, but we're only staying here for two weeks until our apartment's ready. So we were like, whatever, we can do it. Right. And, I mean, yeah, we I booked, like, Motel 6. Yeah. And it was, it was fine, though. I mean, It no. was fine until we arrived, and we saw the reviews, and people were saying that their locks didn't work, that when they arrived, the door was open, they didn't have clean rooms when they came, so they had to clean it themselves. There was no breakfast and no washer and dryer on site, which like we learned that that's something that we need. It's okay, first time. But also, we kind of like parked across the street for like a good like 20 minutes in, in the time span. There's like five, four, four or five, maybe six cops. cops that like were rolling in like because of the shady characters out there. And we didn't want to deal with that. And the boys were like, yeah, we don't want to unload you here anyways. So last minute in the parking lot, I was doing my research and this one happened to have not terrible reviews, but it also was pet friendly and had a washer and dryer and it said free breakfast. This is our breakfast. So yeah, they technically are not lying. It's like candy for breakfast. Right. But. Okay. So when we first got here, it was a weekend and it was kind of crazy. There were a lot of people and it was kind of intimidating because some of the people looked a little shady. Since we've been here throughout the week, it has been pretty quiet. There haven't been a lot of people. I think it's good too that we're like working nights. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, I didn't work last night. Jordan wasn't cleared, so she wasn't able to work two days that I worked. So now she's doing those two days um, today and tomorrow, Friday mm -hmm. and Saturday. So I am well rested while she has been up all night. I'm going to leave her shortly so she can sleep. <laughs> and I'm going to go to a coffee shop to do some homework and do some editing. We just wanted to come on here and give you a midweek update. And yeah, Jordan, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts, feelings, opinions, emotions? I like the hotel. Uh -huh. Or being here, or the trip in general, or work, like, overall thoughts? Um, the hotel's fine. I feel like I like the job, so I'm excited to just be here rather than, like, worrying about where we're living, but it's fine. Like, I feel like it's, it's doable for right now, and then we're going to move into a, like, safer area. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's I feel fine here. I just wish I was able to cook more meals rather than having to find something to eat every single day. Yeah, same. Yeah, I'm like excited to go grocery shopping. I miss having like a fridge, like an actual fridge, like a big fridge and like a freezer and like a <sighs> stove. Like, yeah, we have a fridge and we a small fridge and we have a microwave and we have a coffee maker. We pretty much just use, we use it all. I've used the tea thing once. I made tea in the coffee maker. I haven't used the coffee maker. We did laundry yesterday. It's interesting, though. Like, yeah. on besides the laundry, it's coming home from work, and then having to do stuff after work because you're so tired, and then going to bed. So that's when we did laundry yesterday after work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Weird. so we work the 8.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. We are here because we are helping the hospital. They're clearly short-staffed, which is why they're paying for two travel phlebotomists to come to their state, live here, and work here for three months. They say that we can go at 6.30 and we technically don't have to work past what we're contracted, but I mean, it's, it's so easy and it's kind of enjoyable and the time goes by so fast that just staying until 7 a.m. really isn't a bother, even though we were there all night. I think it's pretty much a breeze. I get good sleep here. Yeah. I I feel like I sleep really well. <laughs> Lila barks at anybody that like she feels sus about, or anybody that walks by. It's it's honest. like a mean like, or like a little growl bark. It's like to scare them away. It's yeah, but of, it's good. It's not like a bark 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 bark. It's like mm -hmm. a it's just like a couple, couple times <laughs> like just a couple just, little barks. Yeah, but just to like let them know like you're not welcome. I never here. yell at her for that because no, I'm like, never. no, you have to. No, literally, I never. But. I, but I gave her a treat because of it. <laughs> Actually, in one of the hotels we did coming up here, I think it was like West Virginia, maybe. And she was so uncertain about the hotel. We had stayed in two hotels before that, mm -hmm. or one hotel before that, and she was fine. But then, I don't know. Was it the one with 43? Yeah. I don't know. She just didn't like it. And so she like barked and like all night, all night. Not like the, not like what she does here. Hmm. But... What she does here is just a few little barks. Scare people away. Right. <laughs> weather. weather in Pennsylvania versus Florida. I am a Florida girl at heart. I've never lived anywhere but Florida. Pretty much I lived in Orlando all of my life until I moved to Daytona Beach area for a bit. She has lived in a multitude of places. <sighs> a lot of places. Yeah. So I've never lived where there's snow. I've never had to deal with the snow. I have visited the snow, but I've never seen snow fall from the sky. I've never lived in the cold. I've never seen the seasons change. So right now it's October. We started our first day October 3rd. <laughs> the leaves were like pretty green. There was some color like fall, but she's seen like a real fall happen. So she knows the ins and outs and the details of it. I didn't. So I'm calling her on my way home from work the other day. And I'm like, Jordan, these trees are so awesome. I was like, we have to go do a photo shoot. I was like, I need to go fly the drone. I was like, we need to do something. And she's like, okay, like let's like wait a little bit. And in her mind, she's like, wait a little bit because they're gonna get more red. They're gonna get more orange. They're gonna get more yellow. Me, I'm used to Florida fall. So I'm like, oh my God, I, I don't know what a real fall is. I'm like, oh my God, these leaves are kind of colorful. Let's take all the photos we can before they fall off. because my thing is, is like October and then November is like when they are like all fall off and then December is like all snowy and cold because like I have a calendar mentality on how the winter works so October is fall November is fall fall and then December is winter even though that's like not how it works and all the trees don't just shed December 1st okay that's not how it works <laughs> that's how I thought it worked okay and Jordan's like yeah like November like will be really really good and really colorful and so I didn't know and she had to inform me that, like, babe, you still have, like, literally so Like, you need to wait, like, wait for it to get a little more folly. Then what has the temperature been recently? I think today was, like, 43. The temperature recently has been not as terrible. But I know, it's gonna get worse. I know it's going to get worse. Or, okay, 43 when I left work at, like, 7 a.m. So right. it is a little colder when I leave work, but. Right. And then during the day, it was kind of warm the other day. Um, adjusting into our overnight shift because now we work the graveyard shift 
adjusting into that? How do you feel? Like, how have you been feeling adjusting to overnight shift? I mean, it's definitely different just because you're sleeping at different times of the day. So it's like, when am I going to eat? Or like, how do you stay on like a regularly scheduled eating when you're trying to sleep too? <laughs> during the day. So you're sleeping during the day. So we've been like eating whenever we're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> eating dinner for our breakfast when we wake up to go to work. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. Breakfast for our dinner. Yeah, like kind of not eating in between. Yeah, I want to pack, like, I want to get myself a lunchbox. I was going to bring a lunchbox, but I forgot. But whenever we get into the apartment and I can make myself in kind of meal prep, I will make myself big lunches to, that are yeah. healthy and delicious and good. We get, like, a break after, like, 2, 2.30, if there's no, like, orders until, like, 4, 3.30, 4. And then we, like, that's our lunch. Our lunch. But our whole shift from when we get there at... 8 30 p.m is we have to stock the carts which takes like depending on like how empty they are like maybe 15 20 minutes like not too much longer no that's like not rushing like literally taking your sweet time mm -hmm. <laughs> stocking the carts like making it look pretty right and then basically we're coming in after everyone's already done the floors so she would get two floors and i would get two floors unless there's another phlebotomist then like we may all get like we may share a floor that we help and then we might each get one floor that we have to maintain but we just do cleanup and pretty much it's cleanup all night and, and there's certain timed orders on certain floors and it's just like random orders right. every hour or so yeah orders. so like every hour like or so two. you go up and you get like maybe two or three like one night her I think we had a total of seven orders but it was like between four phlebotomists <laughs> we had an or a total of like literally like five Five until morning rounds which starts at 4 a.m. and then we're busy until 7 but like it goes by like that like I think the 4 to 7 is the quickest part of the shift and we do have yeah. to like do a lot of paperwork although it was definitely a little longer today doing really? it all by yourself on a floor so I started in like 4a uh-huh and then I went over to 4b I did all 4a then I went over to 4b and there was no other phlebotomist there with me yet I think it was like 4 15-ish by the time we got to like 4b I started doing that and I don't know when she like came in but I got to the other side like I started over here and I went around because we have those orders mm -hmm. I went around and then I got to over here and then she was like down at the end over there I was like oh <laughs> oh I'm not alone anymore <laughs> it's pretty much gonna be after like a couple of weeks it might just be her and I on night shift mm -hmm. all night together depending on if the girl like there's another girl another temp if she extends her if contract. she extends her contract then it'll be three of us and that would be awesome yeah that would be really awesome our job with doing the nurse draw list we don't have to start that until we have to ask for them by midnight we technically don't start them until one so basically like if it's just us there there's um four floors so it would be she would have two floors i would have two floors and then we would just like transfer or like trade doing the yeah, the like, nurse who does it? Like, but, like, we could both literally help with it. Mm -hmm. We could both help with it and get it just knock it out twice but as But you know what's crazy here at this hospital? They kind of are, like, I like the hospital. But I feel like they can be, like, a little negative. <laughs> like, I really the like staff. <laughs> Yeah. Like, negative about, like, the day. And I'm always like, no, like, it's going to be fine. Like, it's not even that busy. But I think that they think, like, what they think is, like, busy, I don't really think is that busy. I don't know. Yeah. It's different because we are type of people that like to speak things into existence. We like to speak positive affirmations and we like to kind of manifest our own day. Therefore, we try and stay positive about everything and it's kind of become just second nature to us. In our old job, we didn't have to associate with coworkers and our boss was already acclimated to me before Jordan started working there. So they knew I was positive. They literally called me like the fairy. We were just all over the place and it was really, really positive. And the people here, like, they're like, oh gosh, it's so busy, it's so this, it's so that and it's to the point where they don't, like, if we're like, oh, it was, like, so peaceful, or it was so this, they're like, don't jinx it. 
and they're so superstitious. They're like, don't say that, don't jinx it. And it's like, what do you mean don't jinx it? Like, I want to tell the universe what I want more of. Therefore, I tell the universe, yes, I love this, I love this. And they're like, oh my gosh, don't say that you love it because you're going to jinx it. And I was like, one of the nurses today asked me if I enjoyed the job or liked the job. And I was like, yeah, I think it's like an easy job. And then she was like, oh yeah, I've heard otherwise. And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, maybe they think that it's a bad job or a hard job. But I don't know. It's like they anticipate us to be negative when we aren't. Like they anticipate negativity and everyone kind of hates their job. Like whenever you're on the floor, you can just hear everyone muttering and moaning. And it's kind of hard because like, I'm happy to be there. Like I'm so stoked to be there. And they're like, oh, I've heard otherwise with your job. Oh, well, I'm sorry if it may seem hard for them, but like compared to what I'm used to and the pressure that I'm used to, this is actually a cakewalk. You guys are very chill. It's literally like such two, a chill environment. Like two blows an hour mm-hmm. and then some paperwork and some morning rounds and then so, yeah. breakfast. Right. And like, yes, it can get busy at nighttime and <laughs> we've only been there for about a week or so, but when, but we're judging based on the staff, it'll be a good amount of orders, not an overwhelming amount based on how many people are there and how we can divide it up. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so busy. I'm freaking out. And I look to see, and we have this collection manager and I look to see how many orders there are in, and it's like five or six between yeah. like a, di- a few floors and I'm like that is like whip that out one two three done come back down here sit on your butt and drink some hot cocoa I literally had like I think my total was 28 on my floor today like on floor 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 four <laughs> um, and I did like a good amount of those and then we finished that and we went up to floor five I don't know I just feel like they like stress out about like a high number but there's a lot of us so it like literally knocks it out so fast they also may be having ptsd that they just haven't adjusted maybe their nervous system they like i think about that too sometimes there was a point in time where there was one person all night by themselves so that one person had to go do rounds all by themselves and to where we're almost done with rounds at 7 7 30 they would be doing rounds and not finishing till 9 a.m which is like crazy because then you're going to get another rush So I feel like some of their negativity comes from what it was like, but we're here to be like, hey guys, like it's not like that anymore. Like we're here and like we're not gonna let it get backed up like that. There's a there's a surplus of us now. There's so many. There's so many. And <laughs> and we're all like fighting over who gets to go do the blood. Right. And I'm like, let me go do it. Like <laughs> Yeah. And where we're from, like, we were the backbone of that area like we had one area and it was only her and I and other people on the job had their area so like we were like sticking a lot we were were getting like 17 a day and now I'm doing like 30 a day right and crazy and it's not it's great I love it right and we could have more or less depending but it was like we were the only ones that had that house so if we missed that patient it was her or I and if I Mm -hmm. couldn't get that patient like how are we going to get someone to get this patient if her or I can't get it? Whereas, like, if I can't get it or she can't get it, we know we have buddies, like, that can help yeah, us. Literally. Or, you know, a supervisor or someone else who may be proficient where in our area that wasn't the case. And if we couldn't get it, we had to keep sticking that person. We would maybe have that order for six months. That type of anxiety. Whereas, like, oh, I if I like need Like, always help. thinking about those patients. And now, like, when we leave work, we don't have to think about any other patients. I don't know any of their names. I know them as really sweet ladies in this room. <laughs> Right, and we don't have to, like, worry about them. Like, we can completely turn off our brain when we leave work, whereas I feel like in our old job, we couldn't turn off our brain. We couldn't just, like, forget about them because those patients were calling our phones, whereas we know when we leave, if something wasn't taken care of or a patient was a hard stick, it doesn't matter. One of the other phlebotomists throughout the day are going to handle it because they're going to need it like that. I literally had a patient text me on the road trip up here saying... (laughs) When is so? When is someone coming to do my blood, the blood work for so and so, so and so birthday, so and so? And I'm like, I haven't been there in like two months. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm, I no longer work there. Yeah, I had someone call me last night. I woke up and recognized the phone number area code and rejected it. And I listened to it this morning. Nine oh four. Nine oh four. 
and I listened to it this morning and I literally just said hi my name is and I was like Ugh, and I'm it was just such a draining job they had access to our personal lives at all times so I feel like we actually know how to completely like we enjoy decompressing and like we don't have to talk about work when we're not at work we don't have to yeah. worry about anything at work we don't have to stress about work we worry about work when we go to work and even when we're there, we have tons of time to decompress anyways. Tons of time. And when everybody else leaves, I feel like I'll actually be able to like read a book when it's just her and I. <laughs> no, I did not go with tons of time. You did? No. Okay. It was only three of us. No. It was just me and Tracy. Mm. There was four of us the other two nights. But yeah, other than that, I really enjoy hospital life. I feel, for me... The time adjustment was a little bit weird because I had to work at 8 a.m. till about 4 or 5, right? Wasn't I there till, or 3 or 4? 3, 2, 3, yeah. <laughs> 2, 3. Okay, so I worked from 8 a.m. till about 2 or 3 p.m. And Jordan wasn't cleared, so she was there for the first couple of hours getting the orientation-ish tour of the lab. Yeah. And then she went and sat in my car. What did you do all day? What did you do on my first day? Monday, October the 3rd, Monday. What did you do? I went to orientation a little <laughs> and met like our bosses and everything and that was kind of cool because they're so nice yeah our bosses they're are literally so the nice. nicest they really are and they text us everybody is so nice I they feel are like, yeah they're all so nice yeah yeah super nice um and then they just complain it's okay yeah <laughs> but they're all so nice <laughs> <laughs> And then I went to the car and literally I called my parents and then I called my grandma and then I scrolled on some TikToks. Solid, solid, solid. And then I made some TikToks off like our like little road trip. Road trip content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I did like a little update too on my little TikTok. And then I went to McDonald's. Yum. I ate a fat burger. <laughs> and went to Walmart. And then picked up this girl. <laughs> I did the 8 to 3. And then the next day they had me do the 4 till noon. And that day Jordan wasn't able to come. We tried to get her cleared. We tried calling the boss was doing all that she could she was going above and beyond trying to get this Literally. girl in she tried so hard calling them as many times because she knew that jordan was just sitting here in a motel 45 minutes away from the hospital doing nothing yep. wanting to work but fortunately we did get her in i did the 4 a.m till noon she wasn't able to come in for that one and the next day that i was doing my very first overnight Jordan was cleared Wednesday, and so she was able to come, and she worked Wednesday, so 8.30 p.m. till 6.30 a.m., but we didn't leave until 7, because we only had, like, maybe seven <laughs> patients left on the collection manager, so we're like, we'll just knock them out, and it yeah. ended up taking, like, 30 minutes or so. So it was pretty awesome. Solid first week. Last night was the first night that she worked without me. Yeah. Last night was the first night I worked, like, a whole floor, basically, by myself. So far, adjusting-wise... Yesterday was Friday, and we got done in the morning. We did our laundry, went to the laundry mat, and which is literally one building over, in kind of like a room. Yeah. It's like a room. It's in a room. It's, it's in a room. In a room. It's just like this. The room's gutted. It has no, nothing. In yeah, it. it doesn't. Yeah, no flooring, and then you just wash your stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, two dollars a load. Wash two dollars. Dry two dollars. Rip off. Ridiculous. It's okay. We're gonna have to pay that every week. That's why I say we have to be mindful with our laundry. Because I'm sure it's gonna be the same. Or 175, 150. Uh, either way, it's gonna. Oh, yeah, her apartment doesn't have laundry. We have to. Right. So, yeah, the apartment doesn't have laundry either. So, we'll definitely take you guys to the laundry mat. We'll have a laundry mat date together <laughs> every week. Every week. We'll just do a little check in. Like, while we're doing our laundry, we'll just update you on what is going on, you That's guys. Smart. Yeah, ask us your questions. Let us know what questions you have about travel phlebotomy. We'll give you updates as it goes along and just let us know what you want to hear from us. <laughs> yeah. Because this is our first travel assignment. Yep. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Fun. I think it's pretty. 
I think it's really pretty here. I really enjoy it. We're gonna- There's so many bridges. So many bridges. I can't fathom. I've never seen bridges like that. And there's so- there's like an abundance of them here. We love that. So many. So many. If you want to see real life up to date, follow us on TikTok and Instagram. But yeah, so this is week one. Today's Saturday. Jordan is going to work. So I'm going to let her get to bed and get in, out of her scrubs that she still hasn't gotten out of. <laughs> I just wanted to change into like pajamas. I just wanted to put on like a, like a silky bottom and top so I can be comfortable and go to bed. And I think we're going to walk to McDonald's. Oh yeah, we're going to walk to McDonald's. I want to make griddle. So that's why I haven't changed yet. Okay. Because I don't want to put on actual clothes. I'm, I'm a little hungry right now, but like... I'm yeah, yesterday we crazy. were starving when we got Yeah, because work. we have no idea when to eat. Yeah. And we don't really know what, what to eat What are we supposed either. to eat? And then it's kind of funny because we do, yeah, we eat dinner food after our nap when we're going to work. I had like a... So it's like our bowl. dinner... That's not our nap. That's our bedtime. That's our bedtime. It's not a nap. Not a nap. It's, it's a bedtime, bedtime throughout the day. Literally, from like... 10 a.m. I would say bedtime is between 10 a.m. to noon. Yeah, I've been falling asleep at like noon. Yeah. 11 noon, and then sleeping until about 6. 6. Or 6. Well, no, 6.45. No, the 6.30. Uh, sometimes but, 6. We were waking up at like 4.45, oh, 5 o'clock. Well, though. yeah, okay. That's we were, we're totally off. I know, yeah, but we're waking up and we're like, fuck, we still have a couple hours to sleep. But we can't <laughs> sleep. <laughs> and then we go to work, and it's kind of like boring and freezing in the lab until like 2 a.m. <laughs> and then we're busy having to do like paperwork-ish kind of thing and then label tubes and send the tubes up to the floors. Up to like 12. 4. 12, yeah. 12, 1 is like when we're like, all right, there's a couple things to do. We got to make a few phone calls to the floors. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll like- A lot of new changes. Yeah, a lot of new changes. Great. Not sure how it's gonna work. I enjoyed it. She went to bed yesterday at 12.30, 12.45. 12 like almost at like one, which is like late. late. It's like staying up till midnight when you go to 4 a.m. <laughs> Not really. Um, well, it's like five hours. Five hours of sleep, yeah. And I stayed up and I edited some videos <laughs> and just stayed up for a little bit longer. And then I did end up falling asleep. And then, then she was awake with me too. And then I was awake with her too. And then I didn't go and then she went to work and I was up all the way until basically 1 a.m. Midnight. I think I told myself 12.30, I'm going to bed. So I went to bed at like 12.45, 1 a.m. And then I slept until 7 a.m. I got ready with you guys. And the only, the only part I didn't take you to get was the coffee. And then that's it. I got. I woke up with you. We're training Lilo. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we can get kind of hectic. Yeah, we are. But it's okay. Just gave you guys a little update on how motel life is. We'll be here for another week, and then we're gonna have to readjust to an apartment, which it's only a 15-minute drive to work versus a 45-minute drive to work, which we love. Mm -hmm. Stoked about that. But it is really gorgeous here. We're in Greenberg right now, and it's absolutely gorgeous we went on a trail as you guys saw in the last video we went on a super cute trail walk and i also found the trail behind the motel i guess that's that's all the updates for now i'm gonna let jordan get out of her clothes after we go to walmart or <laughs> after we go to mcdonald's my brain's fried i didn't even work last night <laughs> but yeah that was our little motel update we're gonna go now and then I'm going to go to a coffee shop because I have homework to do. I'm technically still a student enrolled at Daytona State College. I'm getting finishing my business of bachelor's. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I'm doing it for my dad. If you're watching this dad. Thanks dad. <laughs> Thanks dad. <laughs> it's fine. Um, everything's fine. It is. Everything is fine. So yeah, we're going to go. Anything else you want to add? I really want to sleep. <laughs> Right. Eventually, though. I do try and stay awake a little, at least. Yeah. Because I don't want to sleep my life away. I think we should. We are going to start going to the gym and a yoga studio. We're going to get yoga studio memberships and gym memberships. So we're going to figure out. I personally would rather go to the gym before work and then do yoga after work. Like yoga, wind down, stretch it all out, get my ohm on, you know, and then shower and then go to like maybe do laundry or feed my feed myself and then go to sleep. We should we should sit down and write out a what we're gonna schedule. do. Schedule. Yeah. If you guys have any tips for a schedule, if there's any night shifters out there that.
that have any tip for two new night shifters, we would absolutely yeah. appreciate any tips. Even if, even if you're not a night shifter and you have tips, I'd love to hear them. We're open. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching this whole entire episode. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them below. I appreciate it. I hope this maybe helped some newbie people see what the adjustment can be like. We originally worked the 4 a.m. shift until like noonish at our old job, so that's what we were coming from. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to like and subscribe for the future updates on how we are doing. We're going to give you an update, the part two to Motel Living to see if anything's changed in the last week. Hopefully nothing bad or crazy happens. No. It won't. <laughs> but whether whatever happens, we will let you guys know. And if you guys ask us questions, we will also be following up and answering your guys' questions. So thank you so much. If you guys want to follow us and stay connected on social media and up to date with what we're doing in real time, be sure to give us a follow. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.